I'm going to do a video for you here. It's a just a short video. I'll show you my 23,000 BTU Duraheat uh, kerosene space heater that I use out here in my garage. I'm going to do a startup for you. Show you how to do that first. It's pretty cold out here. It's about I can't see the thermometer from here, but I'm guessing it's probably about 40. First thing you want to do is you're going to move the wick up, open your little match door. It has an optional uh, battery start on this one, which has a little glow plug in the bottom. But you also push this with your foot. Light the wick, which is exposed when you push down the foot plate, and it should light right up. It is low on kerosene right now because it has been under high use. But the thing is, starting up, it's cold out here. As you can see, it's warming the little chamber in there. And it will gradually get brighter and brighter. This one is equipped with a cylindrical uh, wick which I replaced when I purchased the unit. I didn't mention it was 20 bucks. It's equipped with this little gas analog uh, float gauge. Very similar to what you'd have in a car. It bobs back and forth when you move it and stuff, which leads you to believe it has a little float ball in there. It's not a real clear picture. As you can see, it's running on empty. These Duraheat models, I have pretty much almost exclusively saw these at, uh, at, or have seen these at Home Depot. Never seen them in any other store. They had the Aladdin ones at, like, Ace Hardware, and Sears used to have their own brand, but I think they also sell the, if not Aladdin, uh, some other brand. Endure heat just seems to be at Home Depot. But, anyway. Here are the uh, labels on it. It's a little telephone customer service label. And it gives you instructions on how to set the wick, which is adjusted by moving this little metal slider. I'm not going to stick my hand in there because it's running right now. That's not a good idea dark, but you can see it's right there. You just move that back and forth until the unit stops smoking. I don't use any additives or anything like that. I buy straight 1K kerosene at, a, uh, at the gas station down the street. It's basically the clear kind. They also have a, uh, a I forget if it's blue or pink, but use it in lamps. Uh, you're not supposed to use that because it leaves a residue on stuff. Let's see what the caution label says. You should be able to read these if you pause them in uh, HD mode. I don't think it'll appear in the 360 or 480, but... This is the back of the unit. As you can see, it's a little bit dusty, but it was cleaned after I got it. Gives instructions on lighting. better angle there. And it gives you a chart gauge to show you what the uh, proper wick adjustment is. Didn't realize it was zoomed in there.
as you can see, this was distributed by World Marketing and World Marketing of America. It's a model DH2304. It's a maximum output of 23,000 BTUs per hour. That's a uh, tank capacity of 1. Point I can't see that 1.9 gallons. I'm reading right off the camera display, so. Maximum wick height of 25, or I guess that's the millimeters, 25 inches, just say. And it gives you the uh, wick number. As you can see, it was made in Korea. Let's get a picture of the battery start on the back. I don't have any batteries in there right now, but it takes two C batteries. I believe they're C. Might be D. Yep, C size. And let's see, Spanish. Spanishica side. Serial number. But very nice unit. I mean, this isn't particularly old. But it's um, very nice. It was a nice quality find. I'm very pleased with it. Keeps the uh, garage nice and warm. It heats it up pretty quickly out here. And uh, if it's properly adjusted, it doesn't smell. So. See, it's about 54 right now. Well, anyway, that's a quick video. We can do a more detailed video later if I change the wick or something like that. Refill it.